Premier Saturday. Among those keeping their place is João Polinha, who played a starring role in that game and got the equaliser. Tim Ream's return from a ban is timely, with Calvin Bassey serving a suspension. Marek Rodak replaces Bernd Leno in goal. And apart from Ream, the back four is the same as Saturday. Harrison Reed and Tom Kearney come into midfield. Adama Traore makes his first Fulham start, whilst Rodrigo Meniz is preferred to Raul Jimenez, who drops to the bench. Ange Postacoglu promised changes and makes nine of them here after that weekend win at Bournemouth. Mickey von der Ven and Richarlison are the only survivors. Among the starters is former Fulham man Manuel Solomon, and there's plenty of quality in reserve should Tottenham need it. Fraser Forster features for the first time this season in goal. Ben Davis at left back lifted the League Cup with Swansea a decade ago. Giovanni Lo Celso starts the Spurs match for the first time in 18 months. His last was against Chelsea in this competition, whilst Richarlison once again leads the attack and in desperate need of a goal. New manager. Marco Silva is absent from the Fulham technical area, serving a suspension, having accumulated three yellow cards this season. As Fulham get the game underway in the white shirts and Tottenham in their new third strip that they are wearing for the very first time. Early doors, Ben Davis, Guy Ball back. Green with the crossfield ball to Traore. De Cordova Reed, Kearney. Kearney cutting in field and causing a problem in towards Reed. Flick goals and in. Fulham take the lead. And richly deserved for what has been a very bright start. Tom Kearney takes all of the congratulations. A few beleaguered looks on the faces of those Tottenham players. Spurs behind after 19 minutes. Tom Kearney twisting and turning and tying Davinson Sanchez up in knots. It took a deflection on its way through. And despite the attempts of Perisic to clear it off the line, he couldn't. Van der Ven, the unfortunate one. It is Fulham who lead Tottenham by one goal to nil. Von der Ven. Perisic. Oh, Hands up the extra man count. It all depends how long it's going to take Kenny Tete to uh, get a new boot. Davis. Perisic. Richarlison and Scarlett and Solomon waiting in the middle. Richarlison! He has his goal at last! Did he need that? With Fulham down to ten men, they have made them pay. Kenny Tete couldn't get back onto the field quickly enough, but Richarlison gets his goal for Tottenham. Michael McIntyre enjoying it. He's come to see a big show tonight from Tottenham. It's been far from that up until now, but Richarlison gets Spurs back on terms. It's a great cross. It's a good header from Richarlison. Tim Ream couldn't keep it out. The assist from Perisic. And we are all square at the cottage. Fulham 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Unbridled joy for Richarlison.
and those 6,000 or so Tottenham supporters. Game on again. So Andreas Pereira for Fulham to get this shootout underway at Craven Cottage. Taking his time and nonchalantly rolling the ball in. One penalty down, one scored. How cool was that? First up for Tottenham is the captain, Jung Min Son. Given the captaincy this season, a natural choice, said Ange Postacoglu. It's Hyung Min Son for Tottenham. And scores. Rodak did go the right way, but plenty of power on it to make absolutely sure it went in. Raul Jimenez for Fulham. Signed as a replacement for Alexander Mitrovic. Long run up from Jimenez. And again, calm as you like from 12 yards, just like Pereira. Confidently done. Dejan Kulisewski on the spot for Spurs. Up against Rodak and sends him the wrong way. Perfect start to the shootout. Four taken, four scored two apiece. <laughs> Harry Wilson for Fulham. Absolutely sure with the power. Wow. There was a sharp intake of breath around Craven Cottage when he struck this. In off the underside of the bar. And he really crashed that one home. A nervous smile, I think, perhaps there from Marco Silva. Davidson Sanchez for Spurs, who trail 3-2 in the shootout. And it's saved by Rodak. Fulham in the driving seat. Davidson Sanchez with the long walk back to his teammates on the halfway line. Rodak got down well, and now Palinia for Fulham, and scores! They lead 4-2 in the shootout. Really good penalty from Joao Polinia. Madison needs to score 
to keep Tottenham alive. James Madison for Tottenham and scores. Has a little bit of afters with the crowd as well, which he likes to do always. And he goes across to give Fraser Forster some encouragement. Good penalty. But Kenny Tete has the opportunity to win it for Fulham, who scored four out of four from the spot. Kenny Tete to take Fulham through. Which he does! <laughs> Kenny Tete proves to be the match winner for Fulham. Tottenham are out. And this terrific start under Ange Postacoglu at Tottenham has hit a bump in the road because Fulham have taken their place in round three of this season's Carabao Cup. Perfect from the spot. Five penalties out of five. Nothing to separate them after 90 minutes. But Fulham's penalties were exquisite.